All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. It is youth season, so tomorrow well, it's the day before we're gonna hunt. But Iowa youth season. Iowa youth season. I'm gonna go out with Lane, be his mentor legally, um, and he's gonna try to get a bird. It's the it'll be the second day of youth season, I guess. Today's Friday is when it opened, mm -hmm. so we're gonna go out tomorrow. We got some birds roosted. Um, there's a couple spots we wanted to hit, but we went to one, roosted them, and I think we're going to go with the one where we know they're roosted. So I guess we'll catch you guys in the morning. We're going to wake up pretty early, and it's already like 11, so I should probably get to bed, but I'll see you guys in the morning. Make sure you like the video and subscribe, too. See you in the morning. Peace. Alright, good morning guys. We are at the spot. Still pretty good. Only got about four and a half hours, but not bad for the first day of the season. We got a little bit of a walk in here, so we're gonna get in there and get set up. Set the decoys out and we'll have about probably close to an hour, 45 minutes before we can even shoot. So we're gonna get in there before way beforehand so make sure we're not spooking any birds or anything because they're going to be right right next to us on the other side of the river so but let's get after it we're going to get out there and see what we can do today we only got about three hours to hunt so it's all right we got a sunday too tomorrow so but we're gonna get after it and uh i'll catch you guys when we are at the spot Fine. Calm down. That's right. We, he caught us off guard, dude. We had no clue he was there. I didn't. He was. He came strutting right here, and I, I couldn't. I didn't want to yell too loud, but I could try and tell you to get ready. He, came, he was right there. He he, 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 he picked. Right a, he was right he here. He didn't pick us out until he was right there. I don't, I really don't think he's dead, dude. I didn't, but... He flew off, not even really. He didn't look wounded really at all. But he flew off really low to left that I could turn it. I mean, at this point, even if you did hit him a little bit, he's, with, he's gonna be, he's gonna live. Because you didn't hit him before at all. 
which it was a hard shot, but it was kind of like just a bad, I don't know, nothing we can do, no. That was a pretty hard situation, to be honest. And it sucked too because we got in a rush because when we got there, they started gobbling and it was like, yeah. Well, I kind of want to go back and look at that spot where I shot him again. I want to see where your shot was and where where he was, because I was right here. And I was sitting on my side going this way because I was waiting for those ones to come. And then he came around and you're like, okay, swing left. So I went like this and he started putting. So I turned and I had and I had this tree right here, this tree and that tree. And that's the only lane I had until he got about to that tree over there. And then that's when he dropped, or not dropped, but put it off. So it went, so it went. Boom, boom. If you look here, you can see where some of the shot hit. There's some on this one. So, we were sitting here, we had everything set up, and we were turned a whole 180 degrees the opposite way because we had birds on the South Dakota side out in front of us, and we had birds on the Iowa side coming to us. We had a bird at full strut at 30 yards back here in this grass and he comes through the trees and mind you we're 180 degrees turned that way and he comes through and turbo's like hey there's a bird and you can hear him spitting and drumming you know he's doing all that stuff yeah. that was back there wasn't it and came down and i had to turn 180 degrees so i turned my head and he started to putt and walked off and he started walking towards this way and I shot, and all my pellets ended up all along here. I counted like 19 or so pellets that hit this. 20 pellets. So, let's just say we didn't get the bird. We, I knocked feathers off of him, but that's probably from him flying away. Yeah. But, we I got... It wasn't a lethal shot at all. We got... I'm very confident that he is not... He's not dead. He's going to hold it, so. But we're get, we got more birds gobbling. We got another spot that we're going to go hit, so. With what I just saw here, how many shots, that right there just gives me a lot of confidence that he's still. No, if it was a 12 gauge, that would have been a different story. Yeah, he is shooting a 20 gauge, so, I mean, but still. Not much you can do besides keep going. But it sure was pretty cool to see that freaking bird. <laughs> Coming in behind us. I wish he was in front of us so we could see him before he got that close. But yeah, I thought he was. If I had my decoys, if I would have had my decoys further out of that tall grass over there, I think he would have saw him and kind of. You really can't even see him at all. We didn't. Which when we came in last night, we didn't come all the way down here. We didn't realize how tall this grass was, so we just kind of had to. We had to just go with it this morning, just because we already had our plan. So we didn't want to. That bird just gobbled again. He's closer. Yeah, we have a bird actually gobbling right now. I guess, but I'm gonna. Get this little update over and then we're gonna call again we'll see if we can get another bird to come in but we'll keep you updated
can't see him. Wait, I can't see him. Where's he at? God, I put the beat on his head, dude. Whoa! Woo! Look at the spurs on him. Mm. Let's go, dude. Dude, I want to redeem. That's a great way to redeem yourself. I wanted the other one. Boom! First day out, first season. I, mean, I missed my first bird that came in. Um, that was a horrible situation that we got into. But we stuck with it and I kept calling. And we had one that kept firing off back here and I kept, kept calling to them. And they started getting a little closer. And so we were over here and I called one more time and they, boom, they were like right back here. So we hurried up and set out the decoys over here because we saw birds over here and we didn't think anything of it. And then we went and sat back here, yeah, and right there. And he definitely, they definitely saw him. Oh, they saw him when they got out here because they came out. If you see this little tree on the edge of the field here, and you go all the way down to that green tree right here, they came out right there. I saw them. They come out of that brush, and they walked through the field and started feeding. I got them a gobble a couple different times, and then they both came right up here. And he crawled behind me and get, got some good footage. And that's probably a 30 yard shot. <laughs> like I said, that's the number one tip. If you still got birds, gobble them, keep going after them because you'll end up with a bird. If you do everything right, because that's what we did. God was with us today on that one. Oh. But oh, we're gonna take some pictures here, call some people. Before we do anything, I want you to go where you shot him from. All right, Lane's gonna show us where he was when he shot. Okay, you're fine, yeah. Okay, so Lane is right there. He shot over that log, and then that bird is right here. So, how far do you think that is? You think that's 30, 35, yeah. With the 20 gauge, baby. Look at that. Your season is a complete big turkey down. That is the first bird of the 2021 Thunder, whatever you're going to call it. Chasing long beards, bud. <laughs> Bud, see that bird. I got the spurs on him. Sweet. Here, That's a good looking bird, too. Yeah, it is. Let's bring him over there. We can get better. So, we had a couple different scenarios this morning that went good and bad. So right away in the morning, we got in here a little bit later than we wanted to. Um, we set up over there, 
we didn't know there's birds roosting in these trees right here and that's only less than 100 yards away and we had birds gobbling all around us and we had birds on the Iowa side that were coming right down this river and then we sat when we were sitting there a bird gobbled right behind us like 30 yards behind us he came around you could hear him spitting and drumming came through the trees and I was we were a whole under 180 degrees the other way so we had I had to swing all the way around and I swung all the way around and he saw my head turn and he started putting and walking off I shot hit a branch shot again hit the same branch and then he flew off I hit a couple feathers off him he's still alive he's good no no nothing no blood we we're upset about that and I called again and we had some fire off on the South Dakota side and they gobbled and then we called again and then they gobbled closer and, and another two more birds gobbled back there I called again and those ones were closer so we hurry up set out the decoys we sat at the tree over there and right as we sat down they came out of the woods like 150 yards that way and they walked out in the field uh, fed a little bit and they walked in they locked on on those decoys and they came through and the first one stuck his head up at about 40 35 35 40 yards and smoked him with the 20 gauge got a nice um, adult adult bird a bigger bird which is good number one tip I can give you guys is stay after it if you got more birds goblin after you shot and missed stay after it you guys can kill birds it's a dead day there's not very much wind and so it's a good day to kill a turkey. you just you can just think of how loud that shot rang out for miles even that first one and we still had that bird was I guarantee you that bird was only 150 yards away when you shot that first shot. Had Heck, that been. could, I don't think that's the same one, but anyways. But, yeah, he doesn't have the vest fan on him, but. Still a pretty bird. Iowa, Iowa 21, Iowa 2021, turkey season, use season, complete. First day I've been out with a gun this year. Missed. Got back at it, boom. And that wasn't even, they were 10 minutes apart when we shot. No, probably 15. But like I said, just stay after it. You gotta grind on it, but you'll eventually get a bird. Alright everybody, that's gonna do it for this video. We're at the truck here, we got the Lane's bird here. Really good looking bird. Um, spurs are pretty sharp. Not insanely long, but hey, that's not what we hunt. Hunt for the experience, the freaking awesome feeling of being in the woods, hearing gobbles in the morning and stuff. Um, and then on the way back, Lane's like, oh here's a shed. Just handed it up, I'm like, what? But Pretty awesome day. A miss early in the morning by Lane and then uh, made up for it like less than an hour later. So, we're done, man. Thanks. But yeah, that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think I got a lot of really good footage, so hopefully that will turned out good for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, make sure to go hit that like button below. Also, if you aren't already, I'd really appreciate it if you would go subscribe. Um, also, Lane's channel will be linked below. You can go check out there channel below i'll leave it linked in the description but that's gonna do it 2021 chasing longbeards episode two and uh you season bird for him is complete so Got another video out coming tomorrow oh hopefully. yeah well a lot of videos coming this year so hope you guys enjoyed it i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out mm -hmm.